measuring force. Force can be measured by using a spring balance. Yes, it's the common we use to measure the weight. Actually, it can use to measure the force. And the unit of force is Newton, capital letter N, because the most famous scientist that study the force is the well-known Isaac Newton. So the unit for the force is use his name as the unit. Let's consider the some other apparatus that we use for measuring force. Besides using the spring balance, for the more advanced, we can use force sensor with the data logger to get the value of the force. Actually, the force sensor works like a balance but in a digital way. So let's consider the following experiment. So we will try to measure the force on the spring. When we use it, we have to do a zero adjustment. That means to set the scale to zero when there is nothing hand onto the spring. Let's consider this in details. So let's go through the video about this experiment. Check that the reading on the spring balance is zero. If not, use the zero adjuster to adjust the position of the scale so that the reading is zero. Attach a spring to the hook of the spring balance. Then stretch the spring by five centimeters. Measure the applied force and record the reading. Repeat the previous 6 cm, 7 cm, 8 cm, 9 cm and 10 cm. Record your results. So now we've got the force of the shredded string. And now we can plot the graph of the sketched length versus the apply the force. So we add the two axes first, and then make sure we have to label the scale of the graph. Here we use the linear way from 0 to 1 to 0 to 9. And for the vertical axis, because we do not have enough square, so we choose four small square as one cm. So you can see that it's a, maybe a little bit strange to you, but actually it's still in scale. And then we can put the small cross onto it to show the data point of it. After we put the or the data point, we can roughly see that the relationship is look like a straight line. So we can connect them together and then we can find the more the string stretch seems that we will need more applied force. In another word, if we apply more force to it, it the length of the spring will be longer. And the title of it is the relationship between the applied force on the spring and the stretch length of the spring. If we further study this graph, we can extend the lines with the dot line backward. So when we extend it backward using the blue dot line here, we can see that it can just reach the zero origin of the graph. When we get a line that's able to pass through the origin on the graph, actually it represents the stretch length of the spring is proportional to the applied force. 
So here is the experiment related to the force and the stretch length. And the most important is how we use the spring balance to measure the result. And here we have some magnitude size of different forces from 1 Newton to more than a million Newton. So in conclusion, the force can be measured by the spring balance. So next time when you see a spring balance, you should know that it is able to use to measure the force. Besides the force sensor, and the unit of force is in Newton.